What's up beautiful people? I'm Erin and this is Erin On Demand and today's video is really all about y'all because I'm going to share some really cool opportunities for you if you are a small business owner, if you are a black business owner, if you are interested in STEM. Y'all, please grab a notepad and pen so you can take some notes on these opportunities because you are going to want to check them out. Now, if you know me, two things I love are being black and being a woman. And I guess three things that I love is talking about money and just presenting opportunities to you guys. So um, when I started my business, I was very open about the fact that I had to move back in with my parents um, because I didn't have a whole lot of money to be able to sustain a lifestyle and start my business. So I did have some money that I had saved up over my past jobs, but um, it can be difficult starting a, a business on your own because if you don't have the proper resources or the finances or the financial support to start a business, it is difficult. And it is very understood that blacks are disproportionately affected by this racial wealth gap. So if you're not familiar with what racial wealth and opportunity gaps are, basically it is a gap between how much the net income or you know wealth someone owns in one race versus another so according to survey of consumer finances the median black family's wealth is twenty four thousand one hundred dollars while the median white family's wealth is a hundred and eighty nine thousand one hundred dollars that's insane that is literally insane and that is a problem that is going to take a lot of people to solve these racial wealth and opportunity gaps are nothing new you guys um and you know you may be hearing more about it now but they have been around for generations and generations and generations and i think it's great that now there are businesses like mastercard who are making this a priority to help close this wealth gap especially for black business owners who are not always provided these resources from our, you know, direct line of support. You know, our parents may not have, you know, $189,000 worth of wealth to help invest in a business for us to start. And, you know, they're not to blame for that, but it's just something that as a whole, as a country, as a community, we have to come together and figure out how we're going to contribute to closing this gap. Now, let me tell you, MasterCard, first of all, I didn't even know that MasterCard had this type of initiative going. This is incredible. MasterCard is investing $500 million in black businesses through 2025. Yes, y'all. $500 million. That is so incredible. And it really makes me so happy to hear that companies are really trying to do their part in closing these gaps and really providing resources to talented entrepreneurs who simply may just not have the financial support, the products, the services, the technology to be able to fuel their dreams. And sometimes these kind of opportunities can be just what you need to keep you motivated to keep going. I can speak from experience that starting a business is hard. It is not the easiest thing to do, not just financially, but mentally. You know, when you start, you don't always have the moral support from the people around you. And I have, you know, been so grateful to have taken initiative to apply for different opportunities and to really put myself out there and to find these types of things. And so this is a no brainer. Um, when MasterCard reached out, it, it just makes sense because it takes all of us working together to really help everyone reach their fullest potential. MasterCard is working to bring 1 billion people into the digital economy by 2025, including 50 million small businesses with support for 25 million women entrepreneurs. And they are working with the powerhouses, the government, philanthropies, corporations to really help digitize access to these vital services across the globe. I'm just really thankful for companies like MasterCard who are looking to level the playing field to create access for 
for people like me because really like I'm talking to myself <laughs> with this stuff because you know as a small woman black owned business I feel like I kind of have multiple checks that are against me but for me, it's also my responsibility to go out and find these opportunities um, and now to present these opportunities to you guys so that you can take advantage of them. So I want you to take advantage of this opportunity, of these opportunities that MasterCard provides because they have several initiatives. This is why it's so important and this is why I will always bring you guys information that can you know potentially help you in growing your business, growing the life that you deserve. I'm not saying that this is the cure all, but what I am saying is that it is a huge step in the right direction that MasterCard is taking. And honestly, you guys, it's gonna take more big businesses, more small businesses, more of everybody, black, white, Asian, Latino, like it's gonna take everyone in the world to contribute to closing these gaps for all of us and that's why mastercard is working hard to build a stronger more resilient digital economy that benefits everyone everywhere now that's the first program mastercard and solidarity now the second opportunity is girls for tech this is mastercard's initiative for girls who are interested in tech and there is also, since we're talking gaps, there is also a big gap between women in STEM versus men in STEM. And we need more women in STEM because women are so creative. We have this sense of intuition and, you know, we bring something fresh and cool to the table that, you know, just because we just got it like that. This initiative is great because it's focused on girls. The whole idea is that girls grow up to become women and the way that we can really get young girls interested in going into STEM is by introducing STEM to them at a very young age. Less than one in 20 girls consider a career in STEM compared to one in five boys. That's a big difference, but exposure is invaluable. And when girls see role models or when they hear about new technology and just find out about different career paths that they may never have thought of that are under the STEM field, this is really gonna help us get more women in STEM and level out the playing field because they're gonna grow up and understand the impact that going into STEM can have. MasterCard's Girls for Tech educational program is all about inspiring girls to build their technology skills. And their goal is to have over 1 million girls in 30 countries by 2025. They wanna shift and expand the mindset of what it means to be a woman in STEM. And yes, MasterCard is investing in small businesses and they have all these great initiatives for us right now, but I think it's even more important to be investing in the next generation, especially of you know young girls going into STEM who can change the entire world. This program is genuinely changing lives and helping build the next generation of technology leaders. And honestly, like this is a confidence booster. You know, a lot of times young girls don't even know what, you know, certain careers in STEM look like. And I'm sure there are some really, really cool ones. Like if you're interested in creating makeup, like if you love makeup, but you want to actually be a chemist or a scientist who creates those formulas, like that is a part of STEM. And we have to expose young girls to these career paths so that they can keep taking the world by storm. So if you know a girl between the ages of 8 and 16, uh, please consider Girls for Tech as an opportunity for her. Even if she may not express interest in a career in tech right now, it's still a great program to get girls exposed. And if you are a black business owner, please check out MasterCard and Solidarity, their program that I also talked about in this video, where they are investing $500 million in black businesses in efforts to close this wealth and opportunity gap. You guys, this is important stuff. Um, and the fact that MasterCard is doing this and are partnering with other black entrepreneur creators to get this message out it is incredible. Thanks so much to MasterCard for sponsoring this video and for providing these amazing opportunities for 
you know, girls and for black businesses who really need and can benefit from the resources. So I, I just want to start a conversation in the comments. You know, let me know what you think can be done you know, on a regular daily basis by small businesses, large businesses, and just people in general to continue to close these gaps. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please take advantage of these resources and I will see you guys on the next one. Peace.